for for behold the Lord Yahweh comes out of his place to punish the the inhabitants of the earth for their iniquity the earth also shall be dis, uh, disclosed her, uh, her blood and and shall no more uh, cover her 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 slain so the Lord Yahweh uh, is going Yahweh is going to come from his place and and he's going to bring judgment and punishment like uh the brother brought out in uh uh, second Corinthians Corinthians 5 uh, that the Lord's gonna come to, to judge man uh, he's, he's come he's sitting yeah, in the yeah. judgment seat and he's gonna come down the lion coming out from, of his thicket. yeah we have from Jeremiah 4 okay, the Lord on. gonna come back and he's not he's not coming to have a conversation he's coming to kill get that uh, this is uh Acts 1 and 11 which also said ye men of Galilee why stand ye gazing up into heaven, this same Yahweh Shai, so, which... So I, now, this, this is uh, concerning the questions he said, how are y'all going to get saved out of here? How, how are y'all going to get called? W what are y'all looking forward to to get out of here? This is addressing that question. Keep going on. <laughs> the same Yahweh yeah. Shai, which is taken up from you into heaven, shall come in like manner as ye have seen him go into heaven. Yep, so the so Lord Yahushai, he was beamed up by what the world would deem as a UFO. You know, they gave it words back then, a cloud, because we didn't have that word back then. As Yahushai was beamed up because he was he was the he is the chosen one. They All right, he was taken he was then. taken up by uh, the, the beam of light, you know, however he came down on him, gripped him, took him right up. That's that's how we're gonna get saved out of here. We're not gonna get on a, a, a big jumbo jet. We're, gonna, we're not gonna get on ten jumbo jets. Uh, no, no, 12 jumbo jets, 12, 12 jets, big enough for 12,000. <laughs> yeah, really cool. you're not, you're not, she's gonna like get that. a call. Yeah, a call. And, and she's gonna so, go tell her when to go to the secret place. Right. How the fuck are you gonna get a call when, when, when all of the t communication is cut off? <laughs> Hello? How are you gonna get a call when, when all of the, all, when, the, when the EMP goes off and there's no electricity? Right. There's no cell phone tower. Who's right. gonna call her? Yeah, yeah. Who the hell called him? Yeah, he, he called everybody. These people, these people don't have a mind to think. You know, they don't have wisdom. What they have is, is considered earthly wisdom. Yeah, they sit down and they think out and they make plans and they say, okay, well, this is going to be good in that time. But when all hell break out, it, it ain't going to break out the way that you planned for it to break out. Right. It's not going to happen the way that you planned for it to happen. You know, the most high got something for you people, man. You know, for, for, for all of you peppers, you know, you people that like preparing for catastrophes and things of that nature, it's not going to happen the way that you think it's going to happen, man. Hey, that's the reason why the scriptures say the Lord cometh as a thief in the night. Mm -hmm. Well, well, hell, you think Esau is going to tell you, well, okay, well, we're about to collapse. We're about to collapse the economy. Okay, yeah, we're, we're, we're about to uh, implement martial law. That shit going to happen at 6 a.m. when you sleep in your bed with your wife, and the next thing you know is you're going to wake up with a headache in the back of a fucking truck being shipped off to a FEMA camp, man. Yo, you might, you might, why you got the headache? Because they knocked your ass out, yeah. you know? <laughs> you might be in the middle of your workshop using the bathroom, and they right. come in, and all you hear out of nowhere, pop, 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 people screaming, bodies fall. You take ah. you on the toilet. Yup, yup, got right. you some dog. What you gonna do? You, you ain't, you're not, like the said, that's why it's called, uh, this, uh, the thief in the night, when you least expect Pretty it. Enough. Even us, us Akin, we wait and we hope for it, but when things happen, we're gonna be like, oh snap, it's going down. Right. <laughs> you, might, you might be off in the middle, sleep, reading, right. going to get some food. Right. How, whatever, you know, and then it's gonna happen and it's Pretty gonna tough. crack. Huh. And you, you, you gonna be out, about your daily concourse. Yep. Next thing you know, you're gonna see stormtroopers come in. <laughs> Move it. Boot, you hear boots stomping. Okay. Uh, this is Proverbs 3 and, and 25. I was holding one too. Uh, be, be not afraid of sudden fear, neither neither of destruction of neither of the destruction. God damn it. Uh, so I, I was reading again Proverbs 3 and, and 25 Be not afraid of sudden fear Neither of the destruction of the wicked When it cometh For the Lord Yahweh by Shem Shai Shall be thy confidence And shall keep keep thy foot From being taken Withhold not withhold not good Okay that's basically the point And it said be not afraid when sudden fear comes Because it's going to be sudden It's going to happen fast And that's why you got to watch and pray To know that this is about to this is about to go down so don't catch you 
by a surprise because you don't want to be caught off guard when you, when your mind can't com uh, uh, comprehend, oh, that's yeah, that's comprehend that's what's, what's going on. Like it says in uh, yeah, seventeen, yeah. Uh, the fe the felon of the court. When your mind can't comprehend what's going on, you start to you start to bug out and you and you and you, and you lose it and, and and you just your your mind is like it's it's, it's fucking. That's why I just you have the scriptures. So when shit happens. Your mind has somewhere to go. It has something to to think about. All right, this I read this. I, it's, that it's, it's is the reason it's why. Yep. That time. Yep. And that's the reason why the scriptures are the comfort. Yeah. And then, and then to differentiate, there's a difference between being fearful and being startled. Yeah. All right. If you walking down the street and you hear a a, a piece of concrete fall down an inch behind you, <laughs> yeah, you yeah, yeah. be like, oh, oh, <laughs> you know. But you can't be having literal shit and piss yourself fear of these things that's coming because you were told that they're coming. You can't shake right? yourself over. Come. Right. You know, now there's, there's a difference, alright? You walk down the street, you see a nigga get his face blown up, you be like, oh shit. Yeah. You might buck back for a minute. But you can't, but if you're literally uh horrified, nah. petrified, fall to the ground. No faith. Con, no, no faith, faith, that's not the right spirit. Yeah, you gotta have faith in these times. Uh, can, 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 can you grab a uh, uh Revelation 18 and 10? Yeah. Uh, I know, guys. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah. Uh second answer is 8 and 61. There that there at that there should not be be such heaviness in their destruction as shall be the joy over them that persuaded to salvation. Okay. And I answered and said, then I said, I know, Lord, that the most high has called merciful, and that he may have mercy upon them which are not yet come in this world. And he, and upon those that also that was turned to his law. Three sixty-one. Which one? Sixty-one. Sixty-one. That there should be not. Be. There should not be such a heaviness in the destruction that shall be as, as, as shall be joy over them that persuaded to salvation. Yeah. So, so the people that that slated to be saved, it's not going to be as much heaviness and sorrow. Upon them because they're going to have the scriptures and they're going to have Yahweh Shem Yahweh to trust upon rather than these people It's going to be uh, great sorrow and death because they're they're going to have nothing They're going to literally have no type of spiritual help. They're going to try to call upon Satan He's not going to hear him. They're going to try to call upon uh, uh, Yahweh Shem Yahweh and He's not even going to hear him. They're going to try to call upon Jesus and he's not going to hear him. So they're really going to have no security of mind and they, they're just gonna bug out but the men that trust me out by shimmy out shot hope to be saved they're not gonna have that same heaviness because they have hope and faith in Yahweh by shimmy out shot and that's what we need to have in the, in the times to come yeah i think that's uh ecclesiastes uh 12 that talks about seeking seeking uh Yahweh before that evil day comes you know because the evil day is going to be when they implement the uh the, the the mark of the beast the time of jacob's trouble and when those when that thermonuclear destruction come, which which where in the hell do you think that you're gonna get in an hour? Because according to Revelation 18 and 10, it says that in one hour shall 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 the destruction come. Hey, can you grab that? Yeah. Revelation 18 and 10. Uh, can I start up? Kai, you can start up. Okay. Uh, Revelation uh, 18 and 8. Therefore shall her plagues come in one day. Death and, and Revelations, the 15th chapter, tells you what those plagues are. That those plagues is that thermonuclear fire, that thermonuclear destruction. Death and mourning and famine, and she shall be utterly burned with fire, for strong is the Lord Yahweh by Shemiah Shah power, who judges her. And the kings of the earth who have committed fornication and live uh, dink, uh, deliciously. deliciously, the water with, with her, shall bewail her and lam and lam you lament lament for her when sh when they shall see the smoke of her burning standing uh, a standing afar off for the fear of 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 her torment saying alas alas that great city babylon that the that mighty city for for in one hour is thy judgment come god in one hour so when the hell you gonna get you get a phone call? When the hell you gonna go in an hour? You can't you can't flee out of this country in just one hour, man. You know, so what, what's gonna happen is you're gonna be if you if your trust ain't in your how about shy, you you gonna that's it for you. 
you're gonna be destroyed here in this place. This is a uh, uh, Psalms 91 and one. He that dwelleth in the secret places of the Most High shall shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. The secret places is, is, is this holy word, you know, and to abide under the shadow of the Almighty, that's to be taken up in those, in those chariots and to be delivered out of this place. I will say of Yahweh, he is my refuge and my fortress, my power, and him will I trust. Surely he shall deliver, deliver from the snare of the fowler and from the noisome pestilence. Right, uh, that's a defense of Israel. So all these heathens who realize, believe that uh, they got us in uh, um, some type of uh, some type of straits that we're going to always be in straits. It's some type of well, look, we're going to be defended by the Most High regardless. The elect shall be defended by the Most High in that in them days that's to come. Read that again. Now. Yes, Surely he shall deliver thee from the the snares of the uh, the snare of the fowler. And from the noisome pestilence. Right, that's we talking about those ICBM missiles. So we, 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 the, the only way we can we can escape from that is through the Most High bringing His chariots in and taking us out of here out of this atmosphere. Go ahead, bro. Verse four: He shall cover thee with His feathers, and under His wings shalt thou trust. Yeah, that's being inside the chariot, and, and, and under His feathers is going to trust. Because when that happen, we're going to actually see. Because the window, the chariot's got windows. We can actually see what's gonna go, what's gonna go on on the earth. That's why Isaiah said uh, he seen a uh, he seen a uh, sea mingled with glass. We're gonna see that from outside of the ozone layer. Go ahead. His truth shall be thy shield and thy buckle. Right, his truth. And, hey, look, the truth is already the shield of our buckle because well, it's 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 like uh, it's gonna save us. Gonna save us. Like uh, you can't do nothing. But two plus two equals what? Four, right? Gonna equal four, so everything the Most High says gonna equal up to what He said. It's gonna be actual. Actually, everything He said is not gonna. He, everything He say is gonna go out and not come out void. It's gonna. Everything is gonna be believed. We believe. Why do you think we are on the highway in the Bible on the night on a hot, warm, what, 65, 70 day in, in, in the city of Detroit in February? Hey, some gotta be with this weather, man. It's February. It's usually frosty in Detroit. Go ahead. Uh, this is Isaiah 55 and 11. So shall my word be that goeth out of my mouth. It shall not return unto me void. Right. But it shall accomplish that which I please, and it shall prosper in the thing where until I sent it. Right, because we believe in what the Spirit, uh, the Spirit of the Most High said, through the, through the Spirit of, uh, of, uh, of these, these words. We we believe, that's that's called faith in what he said. We don't, we don't see this happening. We want the ones that that the Most High probably, we were probably one that the Most High probably gave the visions to, but at this moment in these incarnation, we haven't seen that. Some brothers seen visions of uh, destruction. I even had a two-third or, I, yeah, I don't know if the Lord is saved. Give a vision of destruction and he gave a vision of chariots. He didn't know what he was talking about. He just stopped and told me about a dream that he had. But the Most High is about to uh, make this clear that all the heathen are going to see that this day is going is the true day of his vegetation and his indignation. Go ahead. Uh, uh, this is Revelation 7 and 1. And after, the, and after these things, I saw four angels standing on the four corners of the earth, holding the four winds of the earth, right. that the wind should not blow on the earth, nor the sea, nor on any tree. Right. Keep going, read that. Keep, keep reading. And I saw another, another angel ascending from the east, having the seal of the living power, right. and he cried with a loud voice to the four yeah. angels to whom it was given to hurt the earth right. and the sea. I got a, I got a, a, a quick precept. You no, know, because that wind is that is that thermonuclear destruction that the Most High have prepared for 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 this place. This is uh, Jeremiah 51 and, and uh, one. It says, "Thus saith Yahweh, Behold, I will rise up against Babylon." And against them that dwell in the midst of them that ra that ra rise up against me, a destroying wind. That destroying wind is is, is, is this right here. And the, the Most High have that prepared for this place. And, and, and what does the scripture of the Most High say? It says that and, and so shall my word that that come from that come from me. It shall it shall go out and it shall accomplish. It shall be accomplished. It will not return unto me void. So the scriptures of, of the Lord, which is the holy the holy Bible, it prophesies that that these right here, which is known as ICBM missiles, are going to do destruction to America. And 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 um, 
this is this is this is also going into the topic that we were that we were discussing with the elderly women that were up here, you know, because she said, okay, well, well, well what are we gonna do? We're doing what we were set up to do. According to Matthew 10 and 5, it says, uh, go out into the in, in, uh, go out into the lost sheep of the house of Israel, you know, and, and preach it to them that the kingdom is at hand. This is what we're supposed to do. The Lord got us set up to prophesy and to seal up and, and to, uh, with this word to seal up the elect. Once the elect is sealed up, then that's when the destruction is going to come, and that's when also deliverance is going to come. Right. It says, uh, saying, uh, this is back in Revelations 7 and 3, saying, Hurt not the earth, neither the sea, nor the trees, till we have sealed the servants of our power in their foreheads. Right. Yeah, why? Right. Because what's, what's going to happen when he said, Hurt not the earth, the trees, and he's talking about, it could be taken as men. Uh, Mark 832, 832, put the in. Mark 8:32, uh, but it said, "Hurt not the earth," meaning the, the Most High is telling the, uh, the angels to hold the back the four winds, meaning that nuclear yeah. destruction, I mean, that which is gonna come, that wind that comes with it, that wind that comes with it, and to, to make to make sure this ain't the time yet. Hold it, so we have all the brothers sealed. Then it's gonna go into that. Uh, Mark 8. He said eight. Yeah, thirty-two. Mark eight and thirty-two. Uh, and he and he spake to, uh, that that saying openly. And Peter took him and began to rebuke him. Uh, but when he, did, he go, did he go to thirty-four? Yeah. But 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 when he had turned.